Good morning, everyone. Uh, this morning we're going to make a little uh, saw blade holder. This is for scroll saw people, of course, particularly. Uh, similar to the one I've got here. I'm going to make it a little bit <clears throat> deeper, though, so that the blades drop down a little further into it. But it's basically a cut from a 2x4, in which we drill um, with a Forstner bit uh, some big holes, some cavities in this and then divide it up into sections so we can place our saw blades in it. So, let's get going on this and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I have a, a little pattern I made up here. We'll know where to drill the holes in this 2x4 to make our saw blade holder. I got a, an old 2x4 here. I'm going to use this. It's a, really a piece of scrap, but uh, it'll serve the purpose of what we're going to do anyways. The first thing we got to do is uh, attach this pattern to the end of the block. So let's do that now. Okay, we're going to take our scissors and cut this pattern out. This pattern, by the way, is free. You can download it from the link down below. Take a look down there. Just click on it. I'll take you to my free pattern page. And uh, you can download this and make one of these for yourself if you like. I've already done one as I showed you. But I'm going to try to make the uh, holes a little deeper on this. So that the blades don't jut up as high. we okay, cut off all of these extra pieces we don't need. It's going to be about 13 inches long and about an inch and a half thick, which is the size of a standard uh, 2x4. Uh, the pattern, you'll have to print it out on uh, 14 by 8 and a half inch paper. That's legal size paper. You can do this on most printers. Uh, if you put it in the tray, it probably won't fit. It'll, be, it'll overhang the tray, but it'll go through with no problem once you print it out and that'll give you your your pattern for uh, drilling. Okay, so what we want to do first is take a piece of painter's tape. The only reason we're going to put the painter's tape on this is to uh, be able to peel the pattern off easier later on. Don't really need it for any other purpose. But we'll do that now anyways. And then we're going to take the pattern and I'm going to sop up the back of it with some uh, glue stick. And we're going to stick that right down on there. Okay, I went off camera and put some glue on the back here using a glue stick that I always use now for my patterns. I find that to be the safest method of adhering something to a blank areas here for drilling. Now, my uh, Forstner bit and the, the drill press that I have is, is a small one, so it'll only drill down maybe about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. So what we want to do first is put a drill hole all the way through on this. So I'll have have the, uh, the point of reference for drilling with the, the Forstner bit. And I'll take my Forstner bit and drill down about halfway. And then I'll flip it over, and the hole will be there, same hole as the other side, and we'll drill through that way to uh, meet the other side, and make a tunnel all the way through this piece of wood. So let's go over to the drill press and do that now. Okay, I've got this nice long drill bit on here to drill a hole all the way through. However, this drill press is really small, and it will only go down to about a little beyond the halfway mark. Now, the only way I can manage to drill this is to drill that hole first and then hold it, uh, hold it down and raise the table up so that I can drill the rest of the way. So I'm going to do one of those right now to show you how that's done. I'll do one in the middle here. <clears throat> Okay, 
gone as far as I can go with it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the table, put the drill bit right in the hole, raise the table up as high as I can go. turn it over the hole has come through the bottom the only way I can do it on this one so uh, I could measure it off of course and try hitting it right on the mark but I want it to be very precise so I'm going to do that with the rest of these now too Okay, let's flip this over, and it looks like we got our holes nicely drilled. Hopefully they'll all be lined up. I don't know, a little bit off on some of them, but we'll see. Maybe it's because it just uh, bent as it went down, but we'll do the best we can on this. Okay, what we want to do now is take a three-quarter inch Forstner bit, take this off of here. In. And we're going to see if these match up okay. Put it down as low as we can here. <clears throat> okay. Alright, now we take our portion of it, line it up with the hole. We'll go down as far as we can here. about as far as my drill press will go. But now, we turn her over and start it on the same hole. We should be able to get a hole right through here. Here we go. that goes right through the 2x4 now which is what we're looking to do and we're going to do this with the rest of these now okay we've drilled all the holes out now for the most part they look pretty good all the way through there if your starter hole is a little bit off your, your bigger holes are probably going to be a little bit off too but not a major problem because this is not uh, <clears throat> going to be difficult to put together. Alright, so now what we have to do is, first of all, peel off this tape. We don't need that on there anymore. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> now what we want to do is make a base for this to stand on so that it doesn't topple over and drop your uh, uh, blades everywhere in sight. So what we'll do is take a look at this first of all. Still going to be jutting up a little bit, but you want to be able to have them up so that you can actually reach and grab them. So I'm going to uh, gonna get a piece of uh, birch plywood, I think, and we'll make a base for this. Okay, I found this piece of scrap wood that I had lying around. Piece of uh, 
plywood and it's about three inches wide. I think that'll make a good base for it so the thing won't topple over easily. What I'm going to do is glue this down on top here right now, just like that. And uh, we'll have that pretty well fastened down. Now you could uh, sand this down and clean it up a lot better, of course, than I've got it here. But I'm going to leave it the way it is, since it's primarily demonstration purposes. Uh, so let's take some glue. <clears throat> you use either side, whatever side looks better. Maybe this side looks better. Yeah, we'll put the glue on this side. Doesn't really have to be a lot of glue on it. Just enough to fasten it down to the base here. Okay. Turn around this way. This is the this is the gorgeous side here. Okay. I'm gonna take a nice heavy weight here. Put it on top. And we'll go away and let that dry for a while. We'll come back and finish it up. Okay. The uh, holder has uh, dried very nicely. And we have a nice little base on here. So it's not likely to topple over on you. Uh, what we're going to do now is take a piece of paper which is cut to about 3 inches by 13 inches and I'm going to glue that right down on the front of the box. Okay, let's take this and uh, glue it up the back of this paper now. We'll just lay it down here, nice and even as we can. We'll just sort of eyeball it. And then press it down, the adhesive on the back. We now have a nice front that can be labeled. And uh, the best way to do this, of course, is probably just prop up the box like that. <clears throat> Take a ruler, square it off at the bottom, draw a line between each of the holes. So if you have something that looks like that when you're done. Let me bring it in a little closer so you can see it. Okay? And now, all you have to do, of course, is whatever type of blade you're going to put in this rack here. You can also use it for pencils too, I guess. Um, and here you put the label on it, just like I did with these. And you're on your way. Okay, so it's a handy way to make a quick little uh, container for uh, your scroll saw blades. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, click the little like button down below. And uh, come back and see what I come up with in the future. It's a nice little simple project for you. Thank you for watching.